Okay. It's Sunday morning, the grass is high, it's time to mow the lawn, so you pull the lawnmower out of the garage, you start it up and you start pushing around your lawn, that smell of cut grass coming up through your nose, it's great. So you're almost done, you're close to the driveway where there's some rocks on the lawn and your lawnmower goes over one of those rocks, kicks it across the street, kills somebody. Kill somebody? But it doesn't actually have to kill somebody, the idea is that a rock kicked by a lawnmower can have an equivalent amount of force as a bullet delivered from a 357 pistol. Lethal lawnmowers. I like it. So imagine that this hammer can swing like a pendulum. Then let's take a gun and shoot the face of this hammer. What's gonna happen? It's an indicator of how much energy the bullet brings to the equation. Now, if I fire a stone at the same hammer at the speed it would be kicked by a lawnmower and the hammer moves the same amount, well, then we could conclude that the amount of energy being brought to the equation by the bullet is the same as the stone. That's the theory anyway. Let's see if it works. This pendulum rig will illustrate and compare the energy of each. Its acrylic impact pad will efficiently transfer the energy of the bullet to the pendulum and can be replaced for each test. Well, that looks nifty. With the rig ready to swing, the first test will be to measure the bullet's impact. Okay. And for that, it's back down to the gun range. Gun is hot. All right, 357 on your mark. Okay, here we go. Hopefully this doesn't wreck the rig. And three, two, one. The pendulum peaked at 60 degrees. So we've got the data we need to move on to stones out of the lawnmower. But if you thought that means no more guns, then think again. Because stones from a lawnmower are hard to aim, because Adam's pendulum target is very small, we're going to take the lawnmower out of the equation and use a pneumatic launcher instead. I'm gonna first check to see that it's shooting the rock at the correct speed. 406. Seriously? Awesome, let's bring it in and shoot this thing. And then we're going to bring in Adam's energy rig, hit it with a rock shot at 400 feet per second, and see how far up the pendulum goes. Good to go. And okay, safety's off. actually went. Wait. Oh my gosh. Dude! Dude! It went above the 357. That's 66 degrees! <laughs> that is more energy from the rocks than from a bullet from a 357. I knew lawnmowers were scary. I just didn't know how scary. So with everything that we tested, I think we have definitively proven, and frankly, I'm astonished by this, but that a rock thrown from a lawnmower can possibly have as much or more power than a bullet from a 357. I'm astonished, but this one's confirmed. <laughs>